decompression diving, gas blender, extended range nitrox, extended range, extended range trimix, technical extended range, hypoxic trimix, foundations, extended range side mount, extended range wreck diving, extended range cavern diving, cave diver, Yes, all of these are different technical level courses that actually start in the recreational programs, but they all start with extended range. So is extended range technical diving or is it something completely different? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go over the different terminologies that SSI uses for their technical programs. And we're also gonna be looking at the training progression that you might wanna look at if you are actually wanting to become a technical diver. So that being said, let's jump into today's video and learn a little bit more about SSI and the extended range programs. What's up guys, that's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you are new to our channel, I want to give you a quick introduction of who I am and what I do here at Lake Hickory Scuba. First of all, my name is Brian Stafford, I am co-owner and I'm an instructor trainer with SSI. I also teach not only recreational programs and public safety programs, I also teach technical diving programs as well. And with SSI, there are a a slew of different technical programs that you can take that can sometimes be confusing just by the terminology they use. And a lot of people will ask the question, well, is extended range diving technical diving? And the short answer is yes, that's exactly what it is. You're extending your range, whether it's depth or time, and thus you are becoming a technical diver through these programs. Now, with that being said, where some of the confusion gets in there is when you have courses such as say the SSI extended range or technical extended range. Well, they're all technical based courses and we actually have courses in the recreational diver program that are technically based too, but we still keep them in the recreational realm simply because of the depth rating that comes with that certification. So let's take a quick look at all of the different programs that SSI offers all the way back from say the recreational programs that are technically technical and there's a lot of technical there. And then we'll also look at all the extended range programs as well. So the very first course that we're going to look at is the SSI decompression diving course. Now this particular course is actually a recreational program, although you will be going into decompression during this program. Now the reason it is considered recreational is you're only allowed down to 130 feet of depth, which is the recreational limitation for scuba. Um, you're also only going to be allowed 15 minutes of decompression and all of that is actually based off your back gas, even though we will be using decompression gases for or accelerated decompression during your ascent, you're still planning all your dives based off what your back gas is. Another reason this is still in the recreational programs is you can use a single cylinder, single 80, something of that sort. You don't have to have double side mount or even a rebreather. Although you can do the program in those configurations, it is really designed for that single tank back mount diver. Now this class is really good if you're just wanting to extend your time underwater. Maybe you've got a really good sack rate, you're not wanting to get too deep with it, and you don't really have any concerns or worries about going below 130 so you just want to extend your time underwater that's where the decompression diving class can really shine for you now another technical course that SSI offers that's really in the recreational side of things, that is the extended range gas blender course. Now this is a non-diving related course, although there are certain prerequisites you must have to take this program. This is simply just a gas blending course. This is where you're learning to mix both nitrox and trimix. And this class is great even for recreational divers who maybe work in the industry. Maybe they work for a local dive shop that actually blends nitrox or they blend trimix. This is the course that they're going to want to take so that they're doing it safely, obviously. Plus, it's going to give them a little bit more knowledge of what technical divers do during the planning stage, so it's going to help even that recreational diver plan or assist that technical diver in planning by getting the right mix for whatever dive they're going to be making. Now the next two programs we're actually going to be putting together, that is extended range foundations and extended range side mount. Now in short, these two programs are virtually the same. One is just set up for say back mounted doubles. The other one is specifically set up for side mount divers. Now I do want to focus primarily on the XR side mount class really quick because the only prerequisite for that course of course is 
open water diver. So you can immediately go, say, from open water diver to extended range side mount. Now, the reason that we can do that through the SSI training system is simple. The extended range side mount and the recreational side mount programs are identical. You're going to learn the exact same skill sets. The only difference is, is in the ex extended range side mount course, you're simply making one additional dive, plus you need one additional pool session to learn how to use actually three bottles instead of just two bottles. So a diver who just wants to get into side mount, they can obviously take just recreational side mount. A diver who's wanting to get into side mount because they're wanting to do technical diving, then of course they can just take the extended range side mount program without the recreational side mount because it's the same program. It's all the same academics, all the same pool work with the addition of one additional pool session and then and of course, it's all the same open water dives, which you got to make three for recreational side mount. You're just adding one additional open water dive as well. So now you're making four open water dives instead of three. But the XR foundations and XR side mount is just that. It's a beginning level course, learning about configurations, learning about how we set up our equipment for technical diving. Of course, foundations is for back mounted double. And then the XR side mount is strictly for side mount as well. So now we're going to talk about the programs where most divers would consider them technical level courses. This is extended range nitrox, extended range, and of course extended range tri-mix. Now the great thing about all three of these programs, they all take the same set of books. So you're just purchasing one set of books for all three programs. You can of course graduate at whatever level you want, whether it's extended range nitrox, extended range, or of course extended range tri-mix. Now the extended range nitrox program is not that much different than the recreational decompression diving. You're still only going to be allowed down to the depth of 130 feet and you're also only going to be allowed up to 15 minutes of decompression. However, your decompression gas mix is going to go say from 40% all the way up to 100%. Now the extended range program is going to get you a little bit different depth rating and a little bit different on your decompression times. And then the only difference between extended range and extended range tri-mix is your last two dives of the program will be ran on tri-mix. So you're going to be certified to actually use Trimix. But these are great transitional programs too if you want to take your time to progress through them or you can just go ahead and purchase the program and graduate at that top level of extended range Trimix. Now the next program that we're going to talk about is the one that causes a lot of confusion between what is extended range diving versus technical diving. And of course that program is the SSI Technical Extended Range Program. Now first and foremost, all of the XR programs are technical level courses and yes, you're going to be a tech diver once you're certified in those programs. However, we use technical extended range as the terminology here because we're adding additional decompression bottles. So now instead of running a total of three bottles when you're underwater, you're going to be running four bottles underwater and there's really two purposes here one you're going to be running two very specific decompression gases to assist with decompression as you descend deeper the other reason we're doing it we are prepping you for the hypoxic trimix course where we get into hypoxic blends now during the technical extended range you can breathe down to a 0.18 partial pressure of o2 or otherwise known as 18 percent oxygen within your trimix blend and this is going to get you down to 60 meters slash 200 feet now as we progress further through that you will see everything that you learn in the technical extended range class will help you in the hypoxic trimix class as well. Now the next program that we're going to be talking about is the SSI Hypoxic Trimix program. Now just like the previous program, this course is going to teach you how to go even deeper and stay even longer. And not only are you going to be carrying multiple decompression mixes, you're also going to be carrying what's called a travel gas. Because in the Hypoxic course, we're going to be breathing mixtures of gas that has an O2 content that's not necessarily going to be safe to dive here at the surface. So obviously you're going to have to have a travel gas to get to depth. This course, of course, is going to rate you down down to 100 meters or otherwise known as 300 feet and this is a great program to really push the limits to see what all technical diving is really about. Now once we've kind of stopped at this level we're going to be talking about some of the uh, specialty level courses that you can get into in the extended range programs. Now up until this point, we've only been talking about the open circuit programs. We haven't really talked about any of the rebreather programs. Well, just like all of the open circuit extended range programs, we also have the same programs for both SCR and CCR divers as well. Now, if you're not familiar with rebreathers, we have two programs that'll be great for you. One is try SCR, the other one is try CCR. Once you've kind of got your feet wet and you know this is the realm you want to go into, of course, you can take either the SCR program or the CCR, which is 
simply semi-closed circuit or closed circuit rebreather systems. And then you can progress through the extended range program. So we have the SCR extended range or the CCR extended range slash technical extended range. And we can go all the way up to CCR trimix or SCR trimix and even the CCR technical trimix and hypoxic programs as well. So whether you choose to do these programs in open circuit or say closed circuit or semi-closed circuit, it's really going to be your call. You just need to decide which pathway you want to choose. Now we're not quite done yet. Now we need to talk about the extended range overhead diving programs. And we're going to start with the extended range rec diving and technical rec diving as well. Now these are continuation programs from both your recreational rec diving and your recreational advanced rec diving. We're simply just going to be putting you into decompression during these programs. You're going to gain depth and time ratings as well. Now there's a lot of different skills that you're going to learn that you previously should have learned during your advanced rec course, but we're going to take it a little bit further from there. Now the next overhead environment programs that we're going to talk about is the extended range mine diving, mine diving, and full mine diving. This is a little bit different type of environment than say a shipwreck, a cavern, or even a cave in itself. So this is a great programs and a great transitional program because as we start to explore new areas, obviously we're going to be going to decompression, we're going to be spending more time, we're even going to be going deeper in some of these mines that have been flooded. So there is a training progression for the mine divings just like there was for the wreck diver program as well. Now the last few programs that we're going to be talking about in the overhead environment spectrum of course is the extended range cavern, the cave diving, and the full cave diving certifications. Now extended range cavern, that is a direct extension to the recreational cavern and c-note program. The cave diving is more of an intro to cave and then you have the full cave diving cert. And just like all of the other XR programs that we've talked about, you can do these programs in either back mounted doubles, extended range side mount configurations, or either SCR or CCR configurations as well. So there you go guys, that is the training progression for all of the extended range programs. And yes, extended range does mean technical. I know it can get a little confusing, especially when you got programs called technical extended range, but all of the extended range programs are technical level courses. And yes, you're gonna be a technical diver no matter what level you're at in the extended range programs. But what do you need to do if you're wanting to get down that or started on this pathway? Well, first and foremost, you need to decide what type of configuration you wanna use for these programs. Do you want use back mounted doubles? Do you want to use side mount or do you want to use semi-closed or closed circuit rebreathers? Get started in those levels first. Take a foundations course in either doubles or side mount or get started in the rebreather realm and then start your training progression through the extended range programs. And don't rush these programs. Most of these programs take anywhere between say six, eight, or even up to 10 days per program. And they can really be extended out further than that if you need the training time to become the best diver you can. But guys, I really hope once again this clears up all the confusion between the XR programs or technical level programs from SSI. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below. One final thought here, if you are an SSI diver, which means you took an SSI diver program, all you have to do is open up your SSI training app and you will see the training standards for every single one of these programs that SSI offers and you can go through and read what prerequisites are required for each of these extended range diving programs. But guys, I really hope this helps. This video helps you out in understanding the technical levels with SSI. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share any questions, comments, or concerns. Put them down below and we will discuss. But that's going to do it for today's video. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.